Hey guys, welcome to Queen Every the Tarot. Today we are going to do the collective reading for the second week of September. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. I'm going to take this off. This is my, I, I always talk to you guys about the copper energy. These are my copper, my, um, copper bangles. Um, I'm going to take these off because I know I can already hear all this clacking going on and carrying on and such. So how are you guys doing? I hope that you all are doing well. I do want to put out here that we have a new moon in the sign of Virgo tomorrow. Okay, and you guys know my goal is always to do live readings. So I'm going to shoot for the 7, 7.30 p.m. time frame, okay? So I'm letting you guys know in advance. I will also leave it in the, com um, the community section here on YouTube as well as on my Instagram stories and the feed. So if you don't know my Instagram, I left it in the description box. You can find that up under any video. Um, my IG information is down there. You can follow and then you'll have updates in regards to what's going on with the channel and with the readings. Okay. So when I was meditating over the energy, the song that I got was On My Block by Scarface. Haven't heard this song in many, many years. And that's not even... I, I, I like Scarface's music, but I'm not a big fan like that. Like, I listen to the music, so I knew for a fact it had some type of resonance for this reading today. So, Scarface happens to be a Scorpio. So, you could be dealing with Scorpio, Summer, Rising, Venus, and the visual. Also, you could be a Scorpio or something significant could be happening in Scorpio season, which is the message that I'm getting more than anything. Scorpio season is October, November time frame, so it's right around the corner, okay, right after Libra season. Um... And so I feel like something very significant is going to happen. And I feel like it has to do with community. Okay. You guys know I've been preaching this for a while. I've been feeling it very, very strong for a while. I've got quite a bit of messages. Some of you are going to throw out the ones that stand out the most for me. So with the song on my block, it's not so much specific to those lyrics. Okay. I feel like it's just the overall energy. And he's talking about his upbringing and what go what went on in his upbringing. For some of you all, that message may resonate. But more than anything, I'm getting... I'm seeing people like sticking flyers on doors and car windows and things like that. I'm getting people like coming together, rallying together, talking about we need to go to the village hall. We need to go do this. We need to go do that. I'm getting people complaining about things that are going on in their actual neighborhood. Again, the name of the song is On My Block. And it doesn't have to just be your block. It could be your city. It could be your town. I feel like people are getting ready to start to rally against what's going on. I'm getting stuff that's going on um, with taxes, people's water, you know, just things like that in general that affects your overall household and your overall livelihood and domestic situation. I'm getting, I'm, I'm literally seeing very clearly new people moving into a block that it could be causing some type of commotion. There could be gossip amongst people who have stayed in a very close-knit neighborhood. For a lot of y'all, this will be a very secluded situation where it's like, if you live on a cul-de-sac or everyone knows everyone, everyone's children go to school together. Everyone has lived there for a long, extensive period of time. Families are very well acclimated to each other. And then there's somebody new moving into the block and either these people are really quiet and people want to kind of figure out like, okay, what are they about? They're too quiet. We, you know, we all know each other. So why is this person or this family so secluded and so quiet and secretive? So people could be trying to pry or trying to find out. It's so weird because I'm hearing, um, Pleasantville, <laughs> Like, I'm, it's, it makes me think about Pleasantville, Desperate Housewives. Like, I'm seeing women going over to someone's house with, like, pies and dishes and trying to welcome them to a neighborhood. But it's not like they're doing it to be nice. I'm. It definitely has a motive for me. So either you could be on the receiving end of this or you could be a part of a group of people who are questioning, like, who are these people? Why are they so quiet? You know, I'm getting people, like, prying. I'm getting that. And then also I'm getting like people who you have never even spoke to are coming together and saying, I don't like the way things are going in this city. I don't like this mayor. I don't like this senator. I don't like this. I don't like that. You know, we need to rally. We need to go to town hall meetings and things like that. I'm definitely seeing people, someone trying to organize some type of, you know, coming together of a massive group of people to go because you know how they say things happen when numbers show. Like when you got the numbers, when you got people who are standing up to something, stepping out, showing their concern, this is when you get people's attention. And I feel like somebody is rallying the troops, literally. But this is all people who live in a certain area. And um, I'm also getting something in regards to like people that you grew up with that you haven't seen since childhood. All of a sudden, they're reaching out to you. Now, keep in mind, we are still very much in multiple retrogrades right now. One of the most popular ones that stands out now is, of course, Mercury retrograde. Okay, and you guys know Mercury retrograde goes direct on the 15th. But that does not mean 
that we will not still feel that energy, okay? It just goes direct on the 15th of this month of September, okay? But I definitely see, like, people reaching out to you, um, trying to communicate with you. They may even be telling you about some a parent of theirs passing, okay? This will be an older parent. Because um, immediately when I was sitting down listening to meditations, listening to the, you know, the messages that I was getting during my meditation, rather, I thought about my childhood best friend and she moved to Texas and she's still in Texas now and I haven't she hasn't been physically in Chicago for close to 10 years and she came back back out here when her mother passed and that was the last time I seen her physically we follow each other on social media but that was the last time I seen her physically and she immediately popped up now rewind I want to say about some point last early in the week last week she called me just randomly and again, we see each other on social media, but I'm not big on Facebook and things like that. I, you guys know I'm, I'm not big on that type of stuff. I just have it for business purposes and to connect with family and friends here and there. But we don't even talk on there. It's no beef. We never had any issue. I just don't be on there. Okay, I'm just going to be real with you. I'm not on there. And I had posted about my book release and things like that when I did the book tour thing. And she was, it was like after that, a week after that, she said, hey, I just want to reach out and tell you I'm so proud of you. You've been writing since we were kids. And I meant to reach out sooner, but I'm sorry that I didn't. And I'm so proud of you. I just want to send you love and tell you that I'm ordering a copy of the book, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, of course, we exchange our, you know, oh, I see your kids are big and blah, blah, blah. Again, I have not seen her or really spoke to her since her mother passed. And that was years ago. That was almost seven, eight years ago. But she just reached out to me. And then when she reached out to me, just having a random conversation, she actually gave me some information about something that I was currently dealing with and she had absolutely no clue. So I feel like the, the universe spoke through her with, to me, spoke through her to me. We have not seen each other, anything like that connected. Our lives are completely different, but she reached out to me and she had some very, very, very valuable information for me. So you guys can have somebody coming back in to your reality, someone that you grew up with, who literally grew up on your block. Okay, or you went to school with this person and just all of a sudden they're randomly reaching out to you and they're going to have some very valuable information for you. I get that very strong as well. Okay, I also got stepping outside of just being, you know, stepping outside of your block, stepping outside of your comfort zone. Okay, because again, the name of the song is On My Block, so somebody could be a homebody. You may be getting ready to come into a season where the universe or spirit or whatever resonates with you on a spiritual level is telling you it's time for you to come out of there. It's time for you to come out of that shell. It's time for you to come out of hermit mode. If you are naturally just an introvert, like you have an introverted personality, you may find that because the seasons are shifting, the seasons are changing, you may find that so is your energy levels. So is your outlook on life. I'm getting that also. Because when I was meditating, what I heard is this shift can't happen without you. So there's definitely a shift coming, you know, even without or outside of the seasons changing. There's an energetic shift just all together. I don't know if I spoke about this before, but I feel like I did. But you know how if you go to certain areas, like say, for instance, Chicago has a certain energy. New York has a certain energy. Miami has a certain energy. Every energy of every city, every state, every town has, you know, has a different energy than the next. For some of you all, you're going to sense that the, the energy in your area where you live, okay, not just your block, but just in general, the city, the state, you're going to feel some type of shift. I am seeing a shift like none other. And I'm seeing glowing, like a glowing light. And I don't know if you guys are into this. If you're not looking to it, because this is, this is real. This is not just some spiritual mumble jumble. Look into ley lines, okay? Every, it's all over the globe. There's ley lines everywhere in the world, okay? I'm just going to tell you that right now. Something's being activated with those because I can feel it because I keep hearing shifts, and now, even as I'm talking, I keep getting this Pleasantville, Desperate Housewives. It's like Stedford Wife-ish type of thing. You got some prying people, some some noses being poked in people's business. I'm getting that also. I, I'm really getting that. People feel obligated or feel like they have the right to know about what's going on in your life. And their, their explanation for it is going to be, oh, because I just want to be safe. And oh, just because I want to know what's going on in my neighborhood. Also, this could be you doing it. Be mindful because you're going you're gonna to catch the right one. Because if it's somebody like me... I say to myself, I've been where I live for three years, and the guy on this one side of me, on the right-hand side of me, he's told me his name. I could not tell you that man's name. And I know in so many ways, it's like, well, you should know who you stay with. I, I know who I stay around. Trust and believe. I, I see. But I stay out of that energy because, first of all, I don't like his energy. It's very nasty. I don't like his energy, so it's an energetic wall put up against him. But trust and believe. I see everything that's going on. I trust and believe. I guarantee you he doesn't know my name either. 
I did my formalities, introduced myself. And see, I'm bringing this all up because this may be something that you guys are going through also. And I know I can tell that he's probing. He wants to know what's going on with me and my children and what's going on in our house. Because I say to myself, outside of going back and forth to my children's activities and with my friends and things like that, I don't even invite friends and family to my house. My house is my sanctuary. Not to say that they're not worthy, but I, I'm, I'm big on that. I'm big on my practices with my space and my energy, right? And I know, because I can tell when I come outside to get in my car or whatever, he'll just find any reason to talk to me, and I keep it very short. Because, again, I don't like that energy. And, again, because I'm bringing this up, I'm bringing this up for a reason. Some of you all may feel like that about people because you may, like, pick up on their energy and you just don't like it. Especially if you live in complexes. I live in a home, but if you live in complexes around these people, you literally may be able to feel these people's energy, and it's just like, oh, no. Even if you were cool with them at one point, I feel like you may be pushing or pulling your energy back because something about the shift in their energy is just not compatible with yours. So let's go ahead and get into it. You have the spirit animal um, and the spirit animal that I got for you guys is the ferret. OK, now the ferret talks about staying grounded. The ferret is also a earth element. So again, staying grounded. You guys need to ground yourself, being decisive, diplomatic and balanced, discovering secrets, being cunning cunning slyness and intellectual the intellect okay um i feel like you guys are going to really really be tapped into your physical body like you you can tell that something is off and it doesn't have to be anything horrible it could just be like you can tell that you just feel less grounded than usual again going back to why i was picking up with my um my copper i don't feel less grounded but i always do stuff to make sure I maintain balance, like when the seasons shift and when I feel shifts in my environment, I always do some extra, extra stuff to make sure I stay grounded in my energy, okay? Because I'm always working with a lot of people and I always want to make sure I'm grounded in my energy so I could be a positive influence for my children, very, very, you know, stay in my lane, stay in my power. I don't want anything knocking me off of my square and, and you guys are being called to do the same thing. Um, also, I have very, very, very strong message. You guys need to check into your north node. Find out what placement find out where your north node is okay first of all find out what sign your north node is in study that and then find out where where it is in your chart and what's going on within your chart because i feel like that's gonna play up really big and for you guys who don't understand that your north node is your life purpose your life path your destiny okay so look into that in your chart now i have a couple names for you guys this could be first middle last name this also be a state city country whatever however it resonates for you put it where it fits we have brad James, Joseph, Terrence, Devin, Jordan, Willie, William, or Williams, Texas, Terry, Tanya, and Emerson. Okay, let's get into it. We are going to get the sun and the moon. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both for the collective reading. And all of a sudden, I just got kind of dizzy. Yeah, somebody needs to ground themselves. Like, my head just felt kind of like woozy. I'm also hearing, like, if you're around a specific person, all of a sudden you kind of feel, like, woozy and, like, things are... Literally, I'm feeling woozy right now. Some of you guys, if, if somebody makes you feel like this, it's something with their energy that just is not complimentary of yours. This could even be a love interest I'm getting for sure as well. Like, something's just off. Like, they need to... If you feel woozy around someone just out of the blue, it could be... Like I said, it doesn't have to be something so horrible. It could be that this person needs to be grounded and you may need to help them ground themselves or give them tips on how to ground themselves. You know, or just say openly, like, hey, something's off with your energy. Are, are you okay? You know, one of those type of things. Because sometimes people who are off kilter, they don't recognize that they're off their square. They don't realize because they're just moving through life like zombie bots. Me and my friend call people zombie bots who are, like, not conscious of what's going on. Because you're moving like a zombie, uh, you know, and you just function like a robot. You're just going through the motions, but you're not aware. So a lot of people are not self-aware. So let's go ahead. Look at that. A lot of people are not self-aware. Three of swords, heartbreak, sorrow, sadness, grief. Um, also being devastated and finding something now because swords is communication and mental. Now, this goes back to what I was picking up. And see, this is why I told you guys a story about my friend and her mother and why she came back into town. Remember I said she came back into town, you know, to have a reception for, um, I mean, a repast for her mother's passing. Okay. And that was a heartbreaking thing. She lost her mother. She lost her mother to cancer. And so she came out here to be around family and friends because her family and friends, everyone grew up out here. They had one in Texas because her mother moved to Texas also. But then they came back out to Chicago to be with the family and friends for, you know, from Chicago. And then she came back out here for heartbreak. So you may have somebody reaching out to tell you some heartbreaking news because source communication and mental. OK, you got someone from your past reaching out, telling you some heartbreaking news. But I also feel like 
there's something with a sense of community. Like just the fact that you guys connecting with each other and talking somehow helps them heal. Close that gap to healing. You know, you know, people's energy, it does that for you. So let's go ahead. Yeah. It's going to heal in due time. Temperance card time. Temperance is also associated with Sagittarius. So there could be someone who has strong Sag in their chart. Sag, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Also, Sag season is November, December time frame. So again, we want the sun and the moon and the card that comes before and the card that comes after for the collective. Okay. I, told, I was told to stop and look what you got right here. This is one of the cards we want. Now, you guys know if a card does not come before the card that we want, we get the card from the back and then we get the card behind it. So you have the sun in the back of the deck. Wow. <laughs> the world card, travel distance for a movement. A lot of strong Leo energy here so far. You got two major arcanas associated with Leo. The sun is, of course, Leo. Then you got Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, like I mentioned, Scarface is Scorpio, and also um, Aquarius. I also want to mention Scorp with, with Scarface, right? That's the name of the artist. Well, that's his artist's name. I was definitely getting somebody who has a very significant scar or marking on their face, like a mole beauty mark, some type of scar. They could have even acquired some type of scar on their face from childhood. I'm definitely getting something with that. This could be you or someone that's associated with this situation. I'm getting it also. Also, someone... It's so crazy because I'm hearing like a villain in a movie. You know how typically like villains in movies have these weird scars from battle and things like that. It could be someone who lives around you and it's just something about their energy... And they have a significant marking or scar on their face that just really catches your attention. And it's like almost like you can read something about this person's energy. You can you can almost pick up their backstory. That's very interesting. That's what I'm getting. Wow. Are you guys looking at this? Please. Look at this, y'all. So you got the world card, the sun, and the magician. Okay, manifestation is here. So you got Gemini and also Virgo, and we are in Virgo season. Now, remember I just told you guys we have a Virgo new moon, new moon tomorrow. You know, new moons is what you want to manifest, what you want to call in. So if you are into rituals and things like that, it, it's a good time to get that started. For me, myself, when I do like rituals and manifestation for things, I always make sure I do like deep, 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 deep cleaning, cleaning. So when I get finished with this and wrap things up, I'm going to get to cleaning really good. I'm talking about toothbrush to the baseboard. I'm, I'm old school with it. So I, I know time. I want to clean it to the, to the grim, okay? So you guys may want to tap into that to um, start today. Start your cleansing and everything really, really good today. And just so even if you don't do rituals and manifestations and things like that, just because you'll have a whole new cleaner slate when you go into this new transformative time frame. But I'm going to tell you right now. If you do some manifestation work, if you are into the cult and things like that, honey, you, it's going to manifest. It's going to move forward. Whatever it is you try to manifest, it's going to come in. It's going to come in. Hands down, it's going to come in. This is a powerful lineup here. You got the world, you got the sun, you got the magician, all major arcana. Major arcana is definite energy. This is definitely going to happen for sure. Again, you may have somebody new moving into the neighborhood. Okay, travel this is for a movement. Or you could be moving into a new neighborhood. You could be looking for a new place. If you are doing that, you are going to get it. If you start applying for apartments, condos, um, some type of home loan or something like that, I'm also seeing children changing a school. You're going to manifest that, okay? We're looking for the moon. We are looking for the moon. Okay, there you go. And if we, we didn't get that far in the deck, so this stuff is going to happen fairly soon. So you got the moon, another major arcana. The hangman stuck in limbo. Wow. The moon and then the queen of cups. Let's see what's behind her. The judgment card. Recon so what I tell y'all? Reconciliation, bringing the situation back to life. You guys definitely got somebody from your past trying to come back in. And again, I'm going to say this is so crazy because I was just talking about the girl, you know, that I grew up with, the woman that I grew up with. And she came back because her mother had passed. And it's so interesting because I keep getting something with mother figures. Some of you guys, unfortunately, I do feel like someone's mother has passed. And, and, and they could be reaching out just to let you know, like, hey, my mom passed. This is when the repass is going to be or so, you know, funeral, whatever. Something is something's happening here with, with a mother figure. Something's happening here with a mother figure. Because I don't know why, but I'm, I'm getting this right here. This is I never get that with this card, but I'm literally hearing a song, Swing Low, Sweet Chariot, coming forth to carry me home. And it's like calling you home. You see how it's like the music is being born and calling in those spirits. Again, I don't claim anybody's you know, anybody's demise. That's not something that I do. I'm just telling you, for someone out there, I am getting that energy. I'm getting that very strong. Um, also, some of y'all may be visited by a mother's hype figure, possibly in a dream state. 
Because I'm going to tell you guys, just like full moons, new moons, especially for me, I get it all the time. Full and new moons make me dream very vividly. You know, dreams ain't nothing but an alternate reality. Sincerely and seriously. So some of you guys can have very strong, um, vivid dreams and also astral projection. Astral projection, I'm getting that as well. So you got the hangman, Pisces, Aquarius, I'm getting very strong here. And then the queen of cups, can't spice the Scorpio. Someone rising Venus. I'm going to toss out some initials. This, again, this could apply to you, a loved one, or someone else in the situation. We have the first, middle, or last initial of T E W D S. Also G. Okay, that could be the first, middle, or last initial for you or someone in a situation. I'm getting that very strong as well. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get the energy for the moon first because you guys know for me, the moon is the past as the sun is the future. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, you have the Two of Pentacles juggling, trying to balance things. With that Two of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm going to say again, some of you guys could be in the, like indecisive about, because this is indecision, undecided about whether or not you should hold on to a friendship or a relationship or let it go. Because see, he's hanging on by the chains, but he's releasing Pentacles. For some of you guys, you could be releasing a Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or you could be thinking about releasing someone in Virgo season, which is pinnacle earthy time frame. And you got pinnacles here. Some of you guys will be releasing someone. Because even here, she has her back to one of these dogs. Dogs talk about companionship and loyalty. So someone that you were, you know, loyal to or connected to, you could be walking away from. Because look at how the dog's eyes look sad here. And then she's going towards another dog. And it's, I always say this dog is bright-eyed, bushy-tailed. Someone could be born in the year of the dog. This could be you or someone that you're connected to. Here, very strong of Taurus is involved also, or something that happened in Taurus season, April, May time frame. And my eye immediately of all elements went to that bull, the Taurus, and then you have the um, two of pentacles. That's Earth as well, okay? So let's part the deck, and we're going to shuffle. You have the page of swords. I'm telling you, you guys got somebody reaching out to you with some type of communication, for sure. You do. There's somebody who's going to be reaching out to you. It's something with a mother figure. Again, even if a mother has not passed on, because that, that mother figure could be hanging on, okay? I I do feel like something is going on with a mother figure's health. Again, I do not claim nothing but positivity for everyone. I'm just giving you guys the messages that I'm getting here, okay? I said something in one of the readings. And see, I'm going to have to tell you, a lot of people, and I'm just going to share this. I'm just going to keep it funky with y'all. Y'all know I'm a Gemini sun. Mercury is my ruling planet, so I'm going to keep it funky with you. A lot of people don't like to hear things that are not sugar-coated. And if you don't, you probably shouldn't watch Tarot because everybody's not, not going to give you this candy-filled um, version of life. That's not real. That's not how life works. And unfortunately, if that's how you want to see things, I am not for you. I'm just going to be honest with you. I always am very mindful about how I speak to people, but I'm also very honest, okay? I said something before, and I was saying, like, I seen something with a car accident. But I, did, I, I said immediately, okay? I said immediately that I didn't see anything fatal. It was like a fender bender, a, you know, a bump on, on somebody's car. Because I can tell you all right now, if I, even if I did see something very fatal or something, I would never mention it. That's not my place to speak on something like that because I would never want someone to just walk around with anxiety and things like that about life. So I said clear as day, I did see it. It was just like a fender bender, bender like a bump. And someone in the comments said, I rebuked that and da 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 And I just deleted the comment because you guys know I don't go back and forth with anybody. I don't do that. You'll never see me do that. I'm going to block you. I'm going to delete the comment. And I thought to myself, like, how bizarre is that that you would automatically start panicking and saying you rebuke it and don't you ever, and her words were, don't you ever say anything like that and da 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 And I was just kind of like, if it doesn't apply, let it fly. And if you don't like it, just don't watch the reading. But then also, I did not say anything horrible. I just said what I what I seen. I, okay, I'm just telling you what I seen. And she went all into this whole tangent, like literally wrote a whole paragraph. And I just blocked, delete. You know, that's what I did. Because that's what I do. I don't I don't argue with people. That's that's not what I do. You know, there's a saying about Gemini. Gemini could be either all involved or completely aloof and completely distant and i completely distanced myself from it because i was like yeah this sounds like somebody who's projecting like you have anxieties and worries about things when that's not at all what i said because in fact i even said do not let low vibrational energy get you wrapped up i tell you guys that all the time that fear and anxiety and worry that's low vibrational don't let it when you get these messages when spirit gives you these messages they're trying to forewarn you and say hey make sure you cross your Tease and down your eyes, make sure you're paying attention to your surroundings. Make sure you know, not be paranoid, just saying, like, don't just be rushing out and doing stuff and not paying attention to your surroundings and what you're doing because everything that you do has actions and you know, it has repercussions to your actions and things like that. And I don't know, some people can't deal with stuff like that. And I actually sense 
Mercury retrograde, I've been seeing a lot of negative comments on people's posts, and I'm just like, wow, Mercury is really allowing people to show their self and step outside their body, so be mindful about it. When I say stuff like this, again, mention it's because of someone's mother or something like that, I'm not claiming that for anybody. I would absolutely never claim that for anybody. I'm a mother myself. I wouldn't want to leave this world and leave my children, you know. But that's that's reality. None of us come here. We all on borrowed time. You know, that's that's per our contracts, everyone's contract. So again, I have to put this out here, disclaimer. When I say stuff like that, it is not because I don't ever wanna intentionally hurt anyone. Okay, that's I'm putting it out there. So when I say stuff like that, I'm just telling you what I'm picking up. And this won't apply to everyone, but I'm just gonna tell you that. Because I do see that. I'm gonna be honest, I do see that. Could be definitely something with a cancer also, because you had a crab coming to the surface here. And then you have um, the Queen of Cups. So it could definitely be something involving someone who has strong water in their chart. Okay. Currently at the bottom of the deck. See, I can't make this up. The devil is alive. Okay. So you got Capricorn energy here with the devil. And then I just say we're all about time. You got contracts. There's a contract right here on, in his hand. So that's what I'm saying. Like, don't, don't allow low vibrational energy to get you. If something triggers you, don't watch it. Don't entertain it. You know, that's just how it is. That's not saying that it's going to happen to you or someone. I'm just saying... You know, I see a lot of positive comments in there and people will say like this did happen and blah, 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 you know, so it's, it's real. So let's get a clarifier for the hangman. Also with that devil and because we get ready to clarify the hangman, somebody is stuck thinking negatively. I say this all the time. If you find yourself triggered by things that is not, this is a general reading, not personal. So if you find yourself triggered by stuff like that, you may have some negative energy attached to you. Because keep in mind, if you go back in that video when you just had the devil, it was chains. It was chains on those people. So you may have some attachments to negative thought patterns, you know, associated with you. It was chains in that car. You got chains here. So someone may have to shake off some negative um, attachments when it comes to the way they think about things. Okay. <laughs> got to shake it. Look at that. You got that. You guys see the flip out and there's another card up under. Yeah. Watch what you're saying to people or watch responding too quickly to things before you actually think it out or hear rationale or truth behind it. You get what I'm saying? Because sort up is yes, sort down is no. And you got the hangman twice. So I'm telling you, and that's major arcana. And this is upright, not reverse. This card came reverse. This is upright. So thank you. Okay, thank you, universe. So that's what I'm getting right now. This is also a message for a lot of you all out there. You're going to see a lot of negative comments and a lot of people talking all types of jive and carrying on. They're stuck in their own BS. They are stuck in their own mess. That ain't got nothing to do with you. That ain't got shit to do with you. Also, you know what I'm getting? I just heard with this, them both being stuck. Hanging upside down. They tell you to stick together. It's time for you to stick together with people. And I know that also because as I hold, have this here, you see how he's looking directly at us, but this one right here is looking over. Again, this is giving me a message just like what I was talking about with the whole thing with my neighbor. I see what's going on with you, but I'm going to keep, I'm going to mind my business. I'm, I'm, I got tunnel vision. I'm focused on me. And then you got people on the outside looking all in your business. Looking up. Why are you looking all over here? And then people want to put their two cent and thing. You see the pinnacles falling? Yeah, so I'm going to tell you right now, you guys going to have a lot of people want to put their two cent and whatever's going on. You minding your business and your own world. And then you got people who want to put their two cent all in your business. Hmm. This is weird because I just also heard somebody could look in their account and like whatever the dollar amount is and then in the bottom is like two cent. So $2,045 and two cents, something with two cent. And, and like I said, somebody definitely wants to put their two cents all in your damn business as well. Be like this, hangman. Hey block it out. Be like Queen Air to block it out because I'm real good at ignoring people. <laughs> Y'all have no clue. I'll read it and I'll see it. I don't take it personally. I just block it out. You can get blocked. You can delete it. And some of you guys may need to do that also. Especially if you have a big social media platform and things like that. You're going to need to do that. Don't let stuff like that get to you. I, I never do. I just like, oh, okay. Thanks for sharing. Block, delete, you know. For the Queen of Cups. Clarify for the Queen. Oh, well, oh, okay. Flip face down, so I'm going to keep shuffling. Clarify for the Queen of Cups. Well, this one seems sad. Okay, what? Look. Look, okay, yeah. It was meant to be. So you got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of Swords. Here's the thing with the Queen of Swords in reverse, she is still looking in the direction of the Queen of Cups. So that's what I'm saying. Somebody wants to get, put their two cents in a situation so bad. You got Pentacles being spilled right here. Two cent. Their source is communication and mental. It's like somebody needs to mind their business, but they all in your business. Because see, in reverse, it's somebody who's going around spreading false lies, false narratives, not knowing the facts, not knowing they, you know, not knowing all the details, but they just all in your business. Okay. Now, also, you got two queens here. This is going back to what I said in the beginning. 
something with mother figures very strongly here queens these queens are mother figures something with mother figures that um again so it's communication mental you may be hearing something that you know it may not be the best news i'm also getting that i'm getting two things an uh, ex could be coming, reaching out to you like, hey, my mom's not doing good. And this is their way to try to get in and communicate with you for someone. And then also I'm getting siblings. Like if you have siblings or family members or something like that that you haven't spoken to for a long time, this is their way of coming in and, excuse me, communicating with you. And just as I did that, I had a hiccup. So, yeah, they're going to call you or talk to you or reach out to you about some type of hiccup with someone's health. And also, I'm going to say again, this is their way of communicating with, oh, wow, this is their way of communicating with you. Now, I'm getting also because this mother is in between these two dogs. Again, dogs talk about companionship and loyalty. One child may feel like they were always left out and the mother favored a specific child. So, this this specific child knows everything about the mother. And, um, oh, I got somebody, somebody was really bashing that mother figure. And no judgment because I don't know what happened with this situation. But I, I do feel like somebody's definitely judging the mother figure. This mother figure can have the first middle last initial of CGMW. Q N O F C P or S first middle last initial of this mother figure. Cool. I'm getting Q's very strong as well. And I know that's not a typical first initial for a name, but um, Quintel Quincy. And I know that's not a mother's type of name, but something with a Q. Something with a Q for someone or somebody's father could it be Quincy or something like that? Quintel. I'm getting something strong with a Q. Again, that won't be for everyone. Those other initials could apply as well, but I'm definitely getting some of the Q. Also, someone could stay in a, a what is it, Quebecca or some some area that starts with a Q as well. I'm getting it also. Let's get a clarifier for the world. You got the Tempest card again. The second time we got the Tempest card, remember we had in this deck. So something is significant could be happening in um, Sag season as well, or someone who has Sag, someone rising or Venus placement. Okay, also I'm getting Sag North Node very strong. Remember, we were talking about that North Node earlier. Sag North Node. Okay. Um, let's get a clarifier for the World card. Okay. And it's interesting because you guys see, I'm not tampering with it. It landed on the Hangman and the Moon. So someone's stuck in some type of secret associated with this energy. <laughs> Star card, wish fulfillment and healing. Wow. You had nothing but major icons so far up here. So somebody needs to do some type of healing so that they can move forward. Also, I am getting some, some of y'all will be moving and relocating, um, going to a new place of employment, a new home situation. But I'm also getting here that if somebody's application for something is denied and they're stuck because you do got the hangman twice and you get stuck and you feel like, well, you know, I'm stuck here. I can't move. It may not, you may not be able to move or, you know, relocate until um, Aquarius season, which is January, February timeframe. I'm getting that. More than anything, because she's pouring water. Water is emotions and feelings. Somebody needs to heal emotionally first from something before they move on. I'm going to say again with the world, something we could also like globally, not just in cities. It could be just city, states, and countries, but globally, something with the water. We're going to hear about something with our water. And I've been hearing this for a while. I've been telling you guys, something with the water is going to come out in the news. Something with the water. The water in certain areas, it's going to come out in the news. Again, we got water, okay? Something about the drinking water is not healthy in a certain area because upright they have something in their cups in reverse. Like, pour that shit out. Do not drink that. You know, I'm getting that also. Two of cups in reverse, that's reciprocity, uh, reciprocation, working together, accepting offers. And this is also soulmate unions and love. You have it in reverse. So if there was an ending, for some of y'all, if there was an ending with a situation, because that's like a breakup with the two of cups in reverse, somebody still needs to heal from that in order to move on and manifest their new start. Okay, let's get a clarifier for the magician. Clarifier for the magician. Also, I just heard just now with the two of cups, it's definitely an ex for some of you guys who's going to be reaching out saying something happened with their mother, their grandmother. I'm getting it also. Someone that you're no longer with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then a strength card. This person is going through a time of weakness. The opposite of strength is weakness. With this being in reverse, this is weakness. Someone's health is weakening. Someone and, and the person who reaches out to you, they don't feel strong enough to endure whatever happened to a family member. They're really going through it. I mean, I want you guys to see this major, 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 major. You have nothing but major icon up here. So this is the sun. That's what's getting ready to come in. All this new stuff that's coming in, you're gonna have you're gonna have major epiphanies as far as healing, as far as ascension and moving forward, as far as manifesting. I'm also gonna tell you right now, 
no nothing trumps a major arcana, not even another major arcana. It just tells a story of each other and how the energy works together. So for a lot of you all, um, if you want to do some type of manifestation, you may not feel strong enough. You may feel like you're not good and very powerful at manifesting, but you actually are. And in, in essence, this is something that you need to heal. You need to heal that narrative in your mind saying like, okay, every time I try to do some manifestation work, it never works. It never happens for me because it's getting ready to move forward. In fact, something that you may have done a prior new moon phase is actually getting ready to manifest now. You just don't feel like you are powerful enough. And every time I see this, I know this is Leo, but this almost this always makes me think about the Virgin associated with Virgo. And of course, we are in Virgo season and this new moon is in a sign of Virgo. For a lot of y'all, there will be manifestations in regards to healing situations with heart-based matters. That's a planet there, but that green ore makes me think about, wow, okay. That green ore makes me think about the heart chakra. Now, I said wow because I have so many, um, I have a lot of incense. You guys know I'm an incense girl, um, essential oil girl, and things like that. But I was guided to use jasmine. Jasmine is very strong to me, so I'm not a big fan of it, but I, I, I use it for certain purposes. And I literally have that going on the other side of my room right now, there's Jasmine. And Jasmine is associated with love-based energy and heart chakra. Some of you all, you you need to heal and you feel like you'll you feel weak. You feel like, okay, I'm never gonna be able to heal. You are healing. Something with this new moon is giving you a new perspective on heart-based matters, and that's changing and shifting for you all. Um, if you've recently done some cord cutting work, and I know recently when I just did um quite a few cord cuttings this past um super full moon that we just had when I, I did quite a few cord cuttings, you guys are going to see. I'm saying for the people that I personally work with and also people who have done those cord cuttings, if you have done that, you're going to start to see the healing coming in. You're going to see, here's the thing, look at this. Yes, this was a clarified, but see, this is saying like, okay, someone has not healed. They need to heal, but you will be healing. You're moving forward. So I'm telling you right now, if you have done some cord cutting, I assure you that you're getting ready to see it. Because I want you to pay attention to this. You got the hangman twice, right? He has a cord on his ankle. He has chains wrapped around him. And then the car is over. It's talking about moving and needing to heal from something. You guys, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. If you've done some cord cutting, it's going to happen. Also, if you plan on doing some cord cutting, if you haven't done it yet, cord cutting with people, places, things. It doesn't just have to be a physical person that you have to cut cords with. We have a the full moon on the 29th of this month. So go ahead and mark that on your calendars if you want to do some type of work. Because I right here, this is telling me, like, with all these majors, there's definitely a big shift. And like I said in the beginning, the shift cannot happen without you. You have to insert your energy. You have to be a part of this manifestation. I also feel like you're going to be someone's strength during this time. Like, if someone has lost something or they're going through it because of something personal in their life, you're going to be their strength. You're going to help them manifest the strength that they need to move forward. I'm also getting something about someone asking someone to speak. As some type of, you know, celebration of life, ceremony. It doesn't have to be a celebration of life. It could be anything. Somebody's going to ask someone to speak. They could be asking you to speak at some type of event. And you may turn it down. Because, again, the sword is down. But I do feel like somebody else is going to step up. Or if somebody else turned down something, you may be the person who steps up and says, well, I'll, I'll do it. It's, I'm getting a couple messages. Again, it does not just have to be, like, for a funeral or something like that. I'm, I'm saying like any event, I'm getting some type of event. This could be something where people are um, being celebrated because, you know, kings and queens, when people come, they bow before them and things like that. It doesn't have to be something that extensive. It could be just like a toast at someone's wedding or something like that. Something honoring someone. It could be some type of thing at work where someone is speaking on someone and has to give some type of, you know, acknowledgement. Somebody may be asked to do it, but they're going to reject it. And then you'll be looked at for it and you accept that could apply for someone out there as well. I'm definitely getting a strong female figure, but that is, it doesn't have to be, okay? It could be a male figure as well. That's so interesting. I, I just heard cat got your tongue. You see how she has the lion's tongue, lion's mouth? And you see how his tongue is hanging out? Cat got your tongue. Somebody doesn't feel comfortable speaking in front of people either is what I'm getting. And I want to say again... I'm definitely getting, like, people moving into a neighborhood. This is so bizarre. I'm getting, I keep getting, like, Pleasantville, Desperate Housewives. Like, people are all in somebody's business. Also, I keep getting those shows, and I never really watch stuff like that. But um, somebody's name could be Eva. Um, but I also feel like it's just messy. Some There could be a messy female in the neighborhood that's always trying to keep up some drama. 
or always talking about, you know, gossiping and saying something about somebody. And it's going to, you know, they're going to hang themselves out the dry because they're going to say something to the wrong person or the right person, rather. And they're going to get confronted. They're going to get confronted and, and, and people are going to start approaching this person about their negative speech. Again, I'm getting strong information about community, community, community. It's so interesting. We're ending with two queens. <laughs> Just look at this. You have the moon. On this side, you have two hangmans, both upright. Two queens on the other side. So you got two queens, two hangmans. And both up here, both major arcana. Do you see how this is, is mirroring? So you could be seeing a situation mirroring itself. Or you can see someone in your life is mirroring you or you're mirroring someone else's behavior. Something with mirroring here. Two majors, two majors, two queens, two hangmans. It's, it's like mirroring energy for the sun and the moon. So also because you have that, the, again, the moon is the past, the sun is the future. It's like something from the past is still mirroring in the future, but it's moving forward in a progressive way. Like it, coming into a new phase, you'll see some of the same, the remnants of the same energy, but it's manifesting into something more. It's moving forward into something more. Definitely manifestation. I'm going to say this again. If you are into manifestation practices, you want to do this work tomorrow. Because it's going to move forward. It's going to it's gonna happen. And I'm definitely seeing cords being cut. I am definitely seeing cords being cut. For sure. Okay? So thank you guys so much again for watching Queen Airbender Tarot. I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And click the notification button. Until next time, take care and be well. Bye.